All right, guys, this is another uh, P&D production. Um, I did another mod to my kayak. I'll make it short and sweet. Uh, I got my yak crate. Um, move this awesome uh, net here. Love this net. Um, anyways, I put a, a yak crate in. Uh, as you can see, I did some wiring. Um, I got some bow lights, red and green, in the front uh, so we can uh, do some night fishing. I still got to get the uh, pole in the back, but that's coming off eBay, 65 bucks. Uh, already rigged, ready to rock and roll. Um, it's got the four mile nautical or four nautical mile visible light on top, so you're legal by the Coast Guard. Because uh, we just found out the other day that even though you paddle this and there's no propulsion other than human propulsion, as soon as you drop anchor at night, you have to have all the regulations on a boat. So it's kind of upsetting. Uh, you have to spend a little bit more money, but safety first you know you want to be able to go out again you don't get ran over by a boat because lake conroe there's some crazy people out there so uh anyways long story short highly recommend this backpack uh it's nine bucks at walmart holds about seven drinks half a bag of ice it will last all day in about 100 degree weather tried it out had ice all day never had a problem um just basically ran some wires i put a little quite a bit of leash on it so in case i want to push all this back and have more room um right down here I just uh, brought it out. That's a quarter inch drill bit. Just bring it out, heat shrink it. I put two pieces of heat shrink on there and heat shrinked it. Uh, so it's nice and tight. Good to go. Water, minimal water if any gets in there. Um, everything that I did, the connections are soldered and taped and it has liquid tape before the heat shrink. So I should be good to go for the salt water uh, so it doesn't corrode. So other than that, that's awesome. Uh, I highly recommend this net, man. This net is at Walmart for 12 bucks. It's at Academy for 24. Literally, you can flip it out or however you want to do it just like that. And it also extends, uh, pretty awesome. So it's, it extends further than that, but that's uh, that's what I'll, I'll show you. But uh, yeah, really cool. And then all you gotta do is just pull it down, get a little flip, boom, boom, boom. And it stows away back in here pretty awesome. So uh, just to give you an idea, my daughter gave me these for my birthday. They're nine bucks at Academy. They're not all the fancy dancy lights, but uh, they're pretty cool. They work. Uh, I think they're roughly uh, two, four, six, eight, maybe nine, ten LED strips. I uh, got the red and green, so that's really awesome. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to go on a catfish sleigh ride, as they say. Um, get me a big old catfish or a redfish down in the bay and have them pull me around for a little bit. Uh, just ran the wires through the back with some uh, with a uh, electrical wire puller. Uh, drilled the hole, put it through. So super simple, guys. Super easy mod. I, you know, I didn't want to drill holes in my kayak, but I did. Uh, you know, you kind of have to force yourself to do it. But uh, once you get it on there good, it's good to go. There's goop behind all this, so it's all waterproof. Everything's good. So uh, till next time, um, hopefully I'll be getting mother light in a week and I'll put that on. And then maybe my next video on YouTube and eBay not ebay uh i got ebay on the mind i'll we'll spend all my money on ebay but whatever it's worth it all right so till next time uh thanks again for watching if you uh if you watched and subscribe down below um i'll be putting some more stuff on there and some uh all of our fishing adventures for the summer and i even got some four-wheel drive stuff i'll put on there and some mountain biking stuff i'll put on there so we do a little bit of everything so Look forward to putting all that on there for everybody to see. So uh, like it if you like it, and uh, thanks again, B&D Productions. I was just going to add one more thing um, I left out. Uh, the reason why I did it like this, uh, so I could take everything out. I could have hardwired a battery in in the front and built a cool little thing for it to set on and glued some stuff down, but I really wanted this removable. Uh, my really good friend told me, man, why don't you just put the battery in, there, in that and wired up that way and you can take it all off and then if we're just going fishing in the morning you know to carry everything good idea i don't have to worry about that battery being stuck in there all the time so uh thanks again for that parker uh i wouldn't have thought of that i would have stuck a battery in the front and then i would have been had a battery in there the whole time so uh hopefully i get a fish finder soon too wink wink nancy christmas